I think we have to start out today with a bit of a clarification. This red fox right here that we shot in last week's video is in fact not a legendary animal, despite the fact that it does look so different from a normal fox. Apparently, when you spot a legendary, the name of the animal comes up in like a gold color, and the kind of like sound that plays when you spot an animal would be different as well. So, unfortunately at the moment, our current legendary animal total is still zero, but hopefully on this rainy day out here in the Colorado forest, we can increase that to hopefully one or maybe even more. He doesn't look tall enough to me, but that's one of the better looking elk we've seen. I can't imagine he's immature with that rack. Especially don't know that we're going to find out. Shooting like that. Do we just... I don't know how he messed up the broadside shot and then managed the head or neck shot as he was running away, but I guess that will work. I gotta say, this is the first time that I've hunted in the rain, and I quite like it. There's sort of like the raindrops running down, I guess what you would imagine is like a camera lens or something, and maybe it's because of the self-filming and stuff that I've done in the last couple of years, but somehow it actually makes me feel like I'm there even more. I think that will be the cow. By the way, this could have been a sort of bad decision. He just looked like a pretty good sized elk, and I've been tracking them along. If this is the right one, and I'm guessing since those footprints are there, it is, it just happened to be a pretty heavy looking one. It is a mature, so that's the first time we've done that. Now, I do believe, and I'll have to go back and look, I was keeping a spreadsheet of all the scores of like our best animals in this game, just because I mentioned in the last video they didn't use to track them for the trophy lodge, and we can go and see. See, that's an elk as well, so there may have been another bull in the area, but anyway, I think we'll probably mount that elk because it is a mature, but I'll still go back and compare to the one that we have currently mounted. I figure we might as well go for like moose and deer now, because that was our final remaining elk tag. I wish they would make it to where you could buy more before you start a hunt if you have some filled, because we came into this one with just one remaining, but I think we made a good decision to take that one since it was a good age class, and just hopefully we can run into some other stuff. To be 100% honest, I had all but forgotten there were even cougars on this map, but we got good and close to this one. We do need to make sure that we're using the right caliber. I think we'll have enough room for a shot just in this little gap here. We've done okay shooting them before, but usually they are just kind of walking across. Also, a fox just called. But that's going to be a at least kill shot. We saw the red hit marker. I'm not sure where that fox would be, but... I also don't even know if I want to go after one. Seems like whether we think they're legendary or not, they end up just not being one. And I don't know what the legendary uh, mountain lions look like, but that would be a kind of cool one. We should have paid more attention, although I'm sure Rocky can find it for us. I mean, it's good to have him do so anyway, just since we need to kind of level him up. But we got ourselves a adult cougar. Managed to long shot him and everything there with the 243. And that is going to complete that license as well, so I still really want to do like a moose or a deer or something on this map to fill another tag. I'm not sure if it's possible to look at what tags you have like outside of the outpost, but I know moose is always one, and we might only have one mule deer tag left too, so if we could fill that, that would be nice. You know, that looks different as well, so maybe there are just different like variations of animals now? I don't remember that, but I like that better than the one that we killed last time, and it still wasn't the gold name or anything like that. If it's a mature, we might taxidermize it just because of the coat. We're gonna have to start looking closely at the other animals we take though. That's just an adult, so maybe we'll end up leaving the one that we have. We did manage to hard shot him, which is nice, but I really just can't get over how difficult hunting in this forest area is. I mean, compared to the fields, we're just kind of hoping to find something where if we go to the Pawnee Meadows, for instance, it's primarily just trying to choose between multiple animals that we can see at any given time. And I think for that reason, we might actually go back to Texas because I do want to do some deer hunting and we're just unfortunately not having much luck with them out here. So we did want to keep our elk he was a 168 score, which I think is very close to what we had before. I'm pretty sure they can get up to like 300, but we've never had one that high. 
And compared to the previous fox, at least as far as age, this one is lower. I can't remember score, but I'm pretty sure it was higher than seven. So we'll keep what we had, even though that did look really cool. We'll go back to the lodge here and just take a look at our new elk. I don't know if there is a difference. We may have had the same rack before on an adult one. I believe you can actually have that happen. By the way, we forgot to look at our coyote last time, so he's just kind of up here beside the bobcat that we got. So yeah, I want to go out to the region of Texas. I think that has whitetail and mule deer. We'll have to figure out which one that is, but maybe we can do a little better as far as numbers go out there. I know in the last video I had talked a good bit about trying to bow hunt in this game, and I do think it would be a lot of fun, but I want to kind of understand calling a bit more, and maybe like scent control or something to get animals a bit closer, because every time we try to call them in, I feel like we don't get close enough. I'm gonna try a headshot, just because I know bison run forever. I'm not sure that you can call bison in, and just because we are still hunting with a rifle, there was no point trying to get too close and spooking him. We do still need a bison for the lodge, and we'll see what this one ends up being. I'd like to have Rocky find it actually just for the sake of leveling him up, but I mean, all the bison look good. He's got good sized horns. If he's even maybe adult, we'll probably mount him just to have something. So minus Rocky going through him to find it. We'll praise him for that. And we have, unfortunately, just a young bison. And it's not super likely we're gonna find another one in this hunt just because they are pretty uh, low spawn numbers, I would say. But at least it's one that we have an infinite license for. So if there is another one out here, we'll still be able to take it. Unfortunately, we got kind of close to this guy already, and I can see the marker turning like a little bit yellow, so he might be spooking. I know the deer caller can call in a lot of things. Yeah, he's not going to stick around for long, so I think we better try to take him. Not a big pronghorn, but to at least kind of fill that tag. I think we have two remaining, and I kind of want to get like a fresh set of five. As I mentioned earlier, you can't just buy five new ones, you have to fill all the ones you had first. And that's, of course, not a big one, but what I've seen from animals in the past, when you do call them in, they pretty much turn your direction and go straight to you, so I'm guessing you can't call pronghorn, but I could be wrong about that. That is another one. Also doesn't look big, but maybe we'll kind of move that way, because I guess I was wrong about the total number of tags. We have two remaining still. Maybe from a little bit further we can actually see. I don't know what, like, the range is, but he's 165 away. If he doesn't pretty much just turn our way, I'm gonna assume that you can't call in a pronghorn with a deer collar. I know the deer collar works for a lot of stuff, but yeah, he is just pretty much walking away. So I'm thinking we might get a shot just over that tree there. We're gonna have to really pick our spot here. We'll have to lead him a bit, I think, but it should be doable. That is gonna work. And I think he actually went straight into the sort of stumbling animation, so not even going very far. We really did need Rocky's help for that one, though. It's just all right here in the brush, but another young pronghorn, and at least another tag filled. And I'm thinking back, like, we got probably within bow range of the first pronghorn without even trying. And for deer, I think we've done it in the past, too, so it might be sort of like a tiered system of how difficult it is to get close to stuff. But maybe next time, deer at the very least, we could try and properly bow hunt, but if we can, I'd like to find a deer or an elk out here just to call in and kind of just look at it again and see how viable it'll be. That is a bighorn. Pretty far out there, but I mean, since we're here, I guess once we're loaded, we can try a shot. Kind of had to reposition just because it stopped again, and of course it's going to move again. I wonder if that even hit it. That definitely did. Curious where that ended up. Gotta be careful with our remaining rounds, because we'd have to go all the way back to the lodge to refill. I know I saw the red hit marker, so unless that's a different one, it should go down. I didn't see any other sheep in the area, so I assume it was the same one. And it was a mature ram, so that's probably one we'll taxidermize as well. About a 300 meter shot, and it was just intestine, so I was wondering if it was kind of like the power of our rifle that helped us there. But I know we had a mature Desert Bighorn mounted in the past, but we talked last time, all of the, like, records for the past animals in the lodge are not there, so 
a proper one with the score sheet and stuff would be nice. I really just wanted to give this a proper try, and I think we better get Rocky to sit still. But the Bandera region of Texas just was not doing it for us. Just no deer were really showing up, so we're actually out here in the Chihuahuan Desert, and basically the plan's gonna be call this mule deer in as close as it'll get, have the gun ready, and when he's ready to spook, we at least can hopefully get a rough idea of the range, and from there we can try to improve going forward with scent control and stuff like that, but I mean right now, for one that looks like a decent buck kinda coming through the brush, and he seems to be coming in quite easily. I'll be the first to admit, I definitely do not know everything about this game, and I'm not sure if there are like rares, but he looks incredibly dark. He is getting ready to spook though. I actually couldn't even see, sort of used the, uh, whatever that is, like the indicator above him to take that shot, and it was a kill shot, so it's gonna bring him down. I wouldn't mind, since he's still kind of going, getting a headshot in there and dropping him. Now, that may have been within bow range, and if we were going to be hunting with a bow, we'd sort of set up somewhere we can see better, and maybe, you know, with scent control and stuff like that, it won't be that bad. I felt like he was kind of on the edge of bow range. I really don't know what the bows are capable of in this game anyway, but actually, now that I'm seeing that, he's a lot more of a brown color. It was a mature buck. How we got intestines, maybe he turned when we shot. I have no idea, but... That is an additional trophy pretty much just from trying to learn a little bit here. And unfortunately, that is pretty much all we have time for, so we are going to go ahead and keep that buck. I should have looked at the score, but I guess we can do that back in the lodge. And we'll go back and take a look at the couple of new additions. So, I'm pretty sure this is our new mule deer, and I know we did have one before. I'm not sure what it scored. Like I said earlier, we can go back and look at that stuff, just because I did keep a spreadsheet, but... Apparently a 160 scoring buck, 43 kg seems awfully odd, like incredibly low, but I think some of that stuff is basically random. 11 years old though, that would be a pretty old deer, and I don't know. Interesting coloration on that one, but we also had of course the elk that we looked at earlier, and our new desert bighorn over here just similar to the one that we had in the past, if not the exact same score. It's just got the score sheet here in the lodge, but... I think that actually was pretty valuable experience with the mule deer. If we can maybe bring scent control, have a bow next time, and I guess set up in a better position, I think we can start to learn the ins and outs of bow hunting in Hunting Sim 2. But anyway, that's going to be for the next video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.